Welcome to Alton Park in Cheshire for the seventh round of this year's Scottish Mutual Volkswagen Vento VR6 Championship. Run as ever with the Volkswagen Polo G40s lining up a little further behind them on the grid. On pole position is the man who leads the championship, Mark Lemmer, with Cadwell Park winner Ian Briggs lining up on the outside of row one. The second row sees Guy Povey on the inside in number 12 and Ray Arms with the Scottish Mutual back Vento on the outside of the row. Row three sees Magnus Laird and Stephen Day, with the fourth row being Dave Pickney and Richard Meaden. Dave Brody starting at the back having missed practice. The polos are headed by Willie Moore, with Michael Day and Philip Burgess completing the top three. Ready then for the start of a six lap race. Away they go, a very good start by Mark Lemmer. Offset the Ventos, there's then a 10 second delay before the polos are unleashed. Down to Old Hall though, for the first time, Mark Lemmer it is in the lead, Ian Briggs second, Guy Povey squeezing through on the inside of the predominantly silver car, that of Ray Arms, and we're on board with Michael Day as the polo race is now on, whoops, getting a tap in the tail there, possibly from Phil Burgess, who knows his way through now on the inside, Michael Day down in third, but it is Willie Moore who is leading the polos at the moment. Mark Lemmer then, swinging out of Island Bend, heading up towards the bank right-hander of Shell, Ian Briggs chasing after him. After delays in the programme earlier on, this is just a six-lap sprint, and Mark Lemmer is in the lead of it. Second is Briggs, third is Guy Povey, fourth Stephen Day, fifth Ray Arms, and sixth, and we're on board with him now, is ex push touring car driver David Pickney. Through Fallstons, crashing over the kerbs. In with the power of these 2.8-litre Volkswagen Ventos, the V6 engines making lovely noises, and they come now over Hilltop, heading down towards Nickerbrook. Stephen Day there in the green car, looking for a way past Guy Povey, who's making his white Vento as wide as he possibly can do, with Ray Arms and Dave Pickney right up behind them. Accelerating out of Nickerbrook for the first time. There goes number 11, Magnus Laird, the director of Hyperion Motorsport, the ex-caterer man, bringing up the rear of the field. Into Druids. Lemma and Brink with third and fourth, nose to tail, Guy Povey and Stephen Day. Dave Pickney there, going through in sixth place, right up behind Ray Arms, and Pickney having had a really miserable time yesterday in testing, now looking for a way through on the inside of Ray Arms' car. Yellow flag out because of a damaged barrier. Fifth, sixth and seventh, swinging their way through in the Ventos, and here comes the polo battle. It's still William Moore in the lead, with Philip Burgess there in second place. Michael Day is third. They're coming now into Lodge Corner. Day, the man who leads the championship, and we're on board with him now. Out of Lodge, up Deer Leap, heading over the line. Michael Day inching up onto the tail of Philip Burgess, looking for a way through on the inside. Is he going to take second place? Yes, he is. There was room enough, a clean manoeuvre. Michael Day goes through, up there, into second place. And somebody runs very wide indeed, making their way out of Old Hall, but getting away with it. Here, though, are the leaders coming over the top of the hill. Mark Lemmer it is in the lead, not being able to pull away too much from Ian Briggs, the Reading Eagles, and side by side for third and fourth. Guy Povey there on the inside, the green car of Stephen Day right alongside him as they come down towards Nickerbrook. Dave Pinkney there right up behind them as well. We have lost Ray Arms briefly as Guy Povey swings into Nickerbrook, leaping over the curbs there. He's just being able to fend off Steve Day and David Pinkney for that third place. And Pinkers is right up behind Stephen Day, not looking very pleased either. It looks as though Pinkney's car is running out of grunt in a straight line. Grant closed on Stephen Day. Dave Pinkney very quick through the corners. He's closing up once again through it. Much faster through the right-hander. Looking for a way through now on the inside. But he just hasn't got the speed in the straight line to get past. And Stephen Day comes across and blocks him. Guy Hobie is blocking Stephen Day. Pinkney all over the road looking for a gap. Hard on the brakes. Into large corner they come. Third, fourth and fifth. Nose to tail. This is proper VW Vento racing. It's clean, it's fast and it's exciting. Povey, Day and Pinkney all up over the line. Pinkney, the man who is second in the championship, giving valiant chase now to Stephen Day. As Mark Lemmer looking in his mirrors all the time just to find out how close Ian Briggs is, comes through Cascades. And the answer is that Ian Briggs is right up behind him. The news agent, the one at Cadwell Park, looking for a way through to go into the lead here at Fulton. As Willie Moore, Michael Day and Philip Burgess, the top three in the polos, come through. Game three in fourth place is uh, Adrian Saunders. And Andy Kramer charging up there on the inside. Ian Churchill, the ex-motorcycle racer, losing a place. A very good bit of driving that by Andy Kramer. Working his way through from what was, for him, a lowly qualifying position. He was only ninth of the polos. On board now with Michael Day. Willie Moore directly ahead of him on the road. Into Ireland Bend. Whoops, drivers at Cascades. Steve Mills, number 44, has a big spin, and off there in the background goes 34, that's Mark Grady. 
trying to rejoin as we're back on board with Dave Pickney, heading down into Nicker Brook, right up behind Stephen Day, who in turn is right behind Guy Povey. Dave Pickney's seat creaking there as he comes out of Nicker Brook, up with the gears now, accelerating towards the bridge. Pickney is not very happy with that car when he puts his foot down, and Steve Mills is not happy with his polo. He's out and walks away. Here come the leaders, Mark Lammer with Ian Briggs chasing after him. They're on their way down towards Lodge Corner. Now can Ian Briggs find a way through? Not at Lodge, he can't, and that yellow flag still out, but he has a much tighter line through the corner. He's touching the back of Lammer's car. They make brief contact there. Come on, says Briggs, I'm a bit quicker than you. Hurry up. And Mark Lammer comes out of Daly up to the chequered flag, though, to win here at Alton Park. His fourth victory of the season. Ian Briggs takes second place at the flag, and there's a very large gap between them and the rest of the field. Guy Cody makes his way over the line for third, just ahead of fourth place man Stephen Day. Fifth is Dave Pickney, and he wins the Dunlop Improvers Award for two places made in qualifying position to result. While Willie Moore takes his second victory of the season in the BW Polo G40 Cup. He's chased over the line by Michael Day and Philip Burgess. Day leading the polos from Moore and Kramer in the championship, with Mark Lammer heading Pickney and Briggs in the Ventos. Thank mm -hmm. you.